Hello and welcome to this new video. I'm glad you're here. So I thought I'd talk about uh, Pasty today and that's a great moment to do that because it is free for you to use at the moment. Uh, so I decided to hurry up and do it uh, while uh, that lasted. Uh, so what is Pasty? A uh, Pasty is something that will help you with using ChatGPT for translation. You can do it also with other uh, large language models such as Claude and Gemini. And something I'd like to add is that if you want to test yourself and learn to use large language models to help you for translation, this is the best way to do it at the moment because that's free. And uh, as I'll be explaining in a minute, it's using the enterprise key for ChatGPT. So if, if you want to hone in on your large language model skills, well, that's a very good way to do it at the moment uh, for free. Uh, to my knowledge, it's the best way uh, to do it if you, are using, if you want to use a companion tool uh, for translation. It was presented at uh, the WordFast Forward conference by uh, Tanya from Prose.com and uh, I gave that a try and I quite uh, like the way it's, uh, it's done. So this is the page uh, where I am at the moment on Prose.com uh, where you can download it. So you've got the download links and uh, you have it for two versions of macOS on download, okay, Intel and MChip. And of course, you have it here for Windows. So the test I'm doing at the moment is on uh, Windows. So here, this is Pasty. Okay, so it's very simple to install. Uh, you will need to give it uh, the authorizations to install on your system. And uh, once that's done, it will do a quick setup asking you uh, the languages you want uh, to use mainly for translating. And of course, as you can see here, you can change that very easily with a drop down and you can swap uh, the languages. So this here is the link uh, to Pasty. Pasty uh, basically has two main functions. One is to translate and one is to be used as an AI chat. So at the moment it is uh, working with ChatGPT. Now, one thing that I will mention right away, and that is important, is that pros.com uh, are giving you a way to use ChatGPT enterprise version. And why this is important? That's because it's only on enterprise versions that ChatGPT say, that's what they say, that they will not use your data for training their models. Okay, so if you want to use ChatGPT, but you are a bit reluctant because some of your content is slightly sensitive, well, maybe uh, that's a tool for you. Now, if your content is highly sensitive, I always recommend to not use uh, cloud translation systems of uh, any kind. Okay, but um, you know that's that's better than if you pay for your own ChatGPT or Claude or, or Gemini. So, how does this tool work? Uh, first things first, it has a dark theme, and here is the dark theme. Okay. Uh, it comes with always stay always on top pre-selected so it means that anything that you're doing any other program that you're using it will stay on top you can minimize it okay but it will still be there if you switch to another program so for example if I bring pasty here and I want to click in my word document okay pasty you see I'm trying to do things here and Pasty is staying on top. So to avoid that, uh, if you don't like that, uh, you can untick it, stay always on top. Now, let's talk about how this works. Uh, the way Pasty works is it will capture anything you copy from your clipboard. So to show you, I'll, I'll make it stay on top, okay, for the moment. So let's say I select this text here, okay? Okay, the text is selected, nothing happens. Now, if I type Control C, immediately the text has been copied here to my window and it has been translated immediately 
as well. Which means that now if I go just below the text I selected and if I do control V, the paste shortcut, I get my translation immediately pasted in my document, okay? So that is interesting for translating or if you need to translate some text directly inside a Word document, but it is very good as well if you are working in a CAD tool. So I am in WordFast Anywhere at the moment, okay? And I have opened the segment for translation, okay? And now what I can do is select the source text, do control C, it gets uploaded here. And now I can just paste my translation, okay? So you notice that it was slightly longer, ever so slightly. Uh, some text, when it gets more complicated or when it gets very long, uh, it will take a little bit more time to do it, okay? So just be aware of that because if you decide to work with pasty minimized, okay? Now that I'm in Word, uh, let's grab the whole text, okay? Do Control C, Control V. And you see here that text is in English, okay? Why? Because I pasted it faster than the system could translate it, okay? So now that we have waited a few more seconds, now I paste it and it is translated. Okay, so just be aware of that. And I think that because there is, there can be a lag, a difference between the time you are copying and the time you're pasting. I think that's why they decided to have by default uh, the stay always on top. Okay, let's go back to our cat tool for a second. Okay, I'm going to remove that target segment. Okay, uh, at the moment, I haven't captured anything. Okay, what you see here is what was there before. Uh, so let's do now a specific command. So now I have added a, a custom uh, command here. So, okay, so I'm telling it that this document is for kids. Make the translation language adequate for a five years old child. Okay, so that's, that's ready now to go. So let's grab the source text and we'll see if it actually does that. Yeah, it did that, okay? So that, that adapted the language. Okay, so that's just a simple way of testing how you can adapt uh, what you translate in document. But basically, if you want to adapt and give it specific context for your document, you can do that. Uh, and you can go uh, further into the settings and do more, okay? So you can have a main prompt, okay? So that is the main prompt at the moment uh, and the context. So I suggest you don't change the main prompt and the additional instructions, they are good as they are. I suggest you don't change them. But if you want to do more, like I did here, you see it has kept uh, my change for uh, kids, okay? So you can edit that. Uh, and you can do something that is relevant for your document. So you can adapt the language for that. Maybe you can add some specific uh, glossary terms and things like that. Um, now, if you want to learn more about how you can use uh, Pasty, you can use the help here. Uh, you've got the getting started, okay? And one thing that is very important is uh, the posing and finishing. What they say here, is as long as Pasty is in active listing mode, the application will take anything you copy to your computer's clipboard and replace it with translations obtained from the external language model. Therefore, it is necessary to post the application whenever the clipboard is needed for other purposes. So let's say you are copy pasting uh, a URL that you want to access in your brother, a link or something like that. Uh, Pasty will grab it and will try to translate it. And when you paste it in your browser, you will get uh, some text additional to your link and you won't get to your, the page you are trying to access. So if you don't keep uh, Pasty always on top that's the main button okay so paste is posed which means that now if I grab this text okay and I do control C 
it's not here okay now if I do the same thing again but with space still listening there you go that text has been grabbed so that's where your button is all right uh, you can do more you can do you can do work with the AI chat but I won't get into this in uh, in this video uh, of course this is actively being developed the app is still in beta at the moment of uh, making this video so just bear that in mind but it works very well it is simple and that's something that if you want to use well you can do it and it will work for you so I hope uh, you'll find this video interesting uh, please give it a thumbs up uh, that helps the channel